All right, hey everybody. This is gonna be a quick one. Just gonna be making some cold brew concentrate. So, I love coffee, but it gets hot out here in Hawaii, so sometimes I crave it cold. So essentially that's what I'm gonna do. So here I have my coffee grinder and my French press and my coffee beans. And essentially I'm just kinda gonna eyeball it. I think it's like two parts um, coffee grounds to three parts water. So again, you know what? Maybe I'll eyeball it with the deli container. Always makes it easier. So I'll start with this. I'm gonna fill this up with as much as I as much as possible. Without overflowing. There's much more coffee than I usually make. Usually I just make like a 15 gram cup of coffee every morning. But I want to make some that will last me for the week. So yeah, if you make this cold brew, it'll last you for about a week or so in the fridge. So I like giving it about 30 quick pulses. We're a little over 30, just because I'm grinding a lot more today. Okay, that looks like it's even consistency or as close as it can with one of these, you know, like uh, grinders. I don't have one of those fancy burr grinders that, you know, James Hoffman recommends. Those are great. I would recommend it if you can find it, but you know, don't have it. Okay, so we got this much coffee. Probably do this much water. So I could probably add it right here and then just pour it in straight. Um, because I'm just gonna use this to strain everything out afterwards. So let's see. Just using cold water. That's why it's called cold brew, because you're brewing it cold. And that looks good to me. Yeah, I could have did it all on the French press, but it has this little black lip right here, so it's kind of hard to see it sometimes. So that's why I decided to do it this way. And all you do is you just let it chill in this mixture, let it cold brew for 12 to 24 hours you know if you want it more strong go for 24 don't go over 24 it gets, starts tasting kind of bitter after that but go for 12 if you just want a nice light one and again this is a concentrate so pour it over ice add some creamer to it and yeah you'll be good um you know i guess i'll see you guys in about 12 hours or so and then maybe then I'll show you guys how I make my regular cup of coffee too. So, there we go. Well, we're back. I literally just woke up just a little while ago. And we're gonna check up on our cold brew. It's been close to 12 hours. It's really this simple. Let it be in here for 12 hours. Plunge down. Slow and consistently. And you're just gonna have some beautiful concentrate that you can use for cold brew coffee whenever you'd like. And there we go. And then now you just pour it into a, whatever container you wanna use to store it. And there you have it. Pour this stuff under ice. And yeah. That's all you really need to do. Cold brew concentrate. All right, guys. Enjoy your day.